The CEO of Komodo Cancer Foundation, Komod, or Komod rather, Komod Cancer Champions Club, Dennis Ejo, has encouraged cancer patients to combine fate with prompt medical treatment. While she emphasized the importance of trusting in God, Ejo stressed that seeking professional medical help at the first sign of cancer is equally crucial. Plus, TV news correspondent Love Oyedekun tells us more in this report. Put our actions together to eradicate this unacceptable reality in our communities. That one in three women in Nigeria has, has experienced some form of violence. This position is a call to action, urging the Nigerian police force to take concrete steps to address this critical issue we request that the police role of cancer survivors in shaping healthcare strategies, policies, and support systems in Nigeria. It was a truly emotional gathering as those who have lived through the disease shared life experiences and advocate innovative ways to improve cancer care in the country. I'm 58 now. My youngest son is 13. Give me 12, 15 years, he will be old enough. And I can tell you this, if I can live another 20 years, I will tell you this here, being diagnosed with cancer is the best thing that ever happened to me because my perspective on life has changed. I have developed a mental resilience. I don't sweat this monster. And I think anyone here who has beaten cancer knows what we're coming from. Because, you know, you've dealt with bigger, bigger, bigger. we've been through it. We're living with it and we all, everybody else, the opportunity of hearing from us. Experience with how they put the news to them about how they have cancer. Nobody has a good experience. Nobody. They just tell you that and just show it that to you. You have to catch it. You know, when they tell you, they just say, oh, this is it. So please, they should train these people. Please talk to us like they are you know, human beings. Keynote speeches were delivered by prominent cancer experts as well as inspiring personal accounts paneled from survivors who shared their journeys of resilience, hope and healing. Knows where it pains us. Not just you know people who come out as um, NGOs. There are some NGOs, they are just asked to feed on survivors. We don't want such. I was in the hospital for four years. So for me, it's in my junior. So it's, it's my love is that I, 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 I promise to become a medical doctor. In a heartening display of unity, the event underscored the importance of collaboration between the public and private sectors, healthcare providers, and the community in building a more inclusive and effective cancer care system. No, I don't mean, I, 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 I couldn't believe when I the pastor. So I said to this, I said, would you be happy if I got you? You people should get 100 powerful men of God, Muslim, Christian, any tradition. And I will bring you 10 cancer patients. And we will beg God for you people to have cancer. All you man of God, man of everything. And we will call God and beg God to give you people cancer. Then we will see how many of you can use that faith that you are talking about to come and solve your own It's a big project you know, I know for the cancer space in Nigeria. And the aim today is to change the narrative for um, patients, to give hope, to give um, a future, you know, and to really tell the patients, um, to tell the... How I will take this message to people in the community, in my area, in the rural place is by awareness and sensitization and maybe organizing from like local government to local government in the environment, then by telling them what I've learned here and uh, about cancer, different types of cancer and all the impacts that it's causing in our country, Nigeria. The conference was gently hosted by the Brickham Foundation and Centerpoint Hospital in partnership with the Commodore Cancer Foundation and the Coalition of Cancer. Champions. Love Uyeduku plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.